Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Prabhakar, HOD at Anne Medical College and Hospital, Chennai. I have been training students to excel in exams such as USMLE, NEET PG, FMG, and also in AIMS for over a decade. My team of experts and myself are specialists in a systemic analysis of your question paper. And what we do is, based on the upcoming trend, we are we will pinpoint the most critical topics you should study. So based on that, we categorize these topics into based on the high yield weightage as platinum, gold, and silver topics. So today I'm excited to discuss about the platinum topics. I can say these topics are must know topics. So if you know these topics, you can crack the exam with ease. Welcome to the Darwin C Medical Academy. And this is a platinum topics for NEPG 2024. So our expert, uh, what they have done is they have reviewed the previous year questions and they have uh, put a list of topics that are more important and that are moderately important and so on. So based on that, we are giving value to a particular topic, isn't it? So what is uh, the valuable thing? So we are taking the platinum as the number one valuable thing. So platinum topics are must to do topics before you enter into the NEPG. It gives a basic foundation. Okay, and it also boost your lead PG scores. Okay, so welcome to uh, Davids Academy once again. So this is the presented by Davids Medical Academy and your path to success starts from here. Right, so platinum topics, biochemistry. So biochemistry, what are the important topics that we should discuss in biochemistry? So biochemistry, as I put the uh, topics, you can see the amino acid are very important. Vitamins and their functions are very important. So in amino acid, you should know the metabolism. Okay, you should understand uh, the metabolism, the structure and the disorders. So the structure of amino acid is important. The metabolism, how it happens. Okay, for example, tyrosine or tryptophan, the metabolism, how it happens. And basically you should understand the disorders of amino acid. Okay, in the amino acid or in the protein entire uh, topic, uh, you have urea cycle, which is most frequently asked. So urea cycle you should focus because it is the area, okay, uh, key process. It is a key process in amino acid metabolism. And many inborn errors of metabolism such as your phenylketonuria. Okay, so phenylketonuria, you have to know about the diagnosis, you have to know about the treatment, what they do and uh, what is the enzyme defect. So all the inborn errors of metabolism of amino acid are very important. And you come to vitamins and their functions. So vitamins, which are having various functions in the body, body you know that. So they are more uh, concerned with vitamin deficiencies, okay, and the management. So have a master knowledge of vitamins, okay, and some minerals also. But vitamins, especially what we have found is B12 and its deficiency, pernicious anemia, is highly repeated, and vitamin D rickets and malaysia not only that everything about uh, vitamin d is highly important because vitamin d is considered to be having pleiotropic function okay so we don't know the uh, all the functions yet so we are still researching on that so vitamin d is an important topic in biochemistry so let us move now to the next slide that is microbiology so in microbiology what are the important questions are you can see that in microbiology they are more keen towards Gram negative bacillus, gram positive bacillus. These are the questions most commonly asked. So if it is a gram negative bacillus, you should have in-depth knowledge of what is gram negative bacillus. Okay. So you should study well about the gram negative bacillus in the and what are the things you will study? You will study the characteristic, you will study the infections they are causing. Okay, all those things. So if you go deep into that, what is the important in gram negative bacilli, you know, everybody will know that E. coli. So, E. coli, you know, the types of E. coli are there EHEC, EPEC, many types are there, and E. coli and the uh, disease that is caused by E. coli, such as UTI, acute gastroenteritis, and the antibiotic resistance is also repeatedly asked. Antibiotic resistance of E. coli is also repeatedly asked. Okay, so that is a gram negative. So you cannot uh, leave gram positive there because gram negative you should, st you should study uh, in depth. So you will be thinking that, okay, gram positive say no. You should give equal importance to gram positive also. Gram positive organisms, uh, staph aureus, 
okay will be on the list so you should study the staff areas okay staff areas particularly uh, we are concerned with the the mrsa okay mrsa the virulence factors of staff uh, areas is asked more and the management okay so all these things are most commonly asked in uh, gram positive bacillus okay gram positive bacillus these are the things most commonly so coming to the immunology part okay immunology part what you have to study immunology part you have to study the immune response you have to study you have to study the types of immunity okay types of immunity you have to study types of immunity immune response and under hypersensitivity the uh, repeatedly asked or most commonly asked hypersensitivity are 1 and 4 these two are most commonly asked compared to other hypersensitivity they are frequently uh, asked question, asked us questions so, so in case of surgery uh, the vital organs such as pancreas and spleen okay so the vital organs are okay you should have the surgical knowledge of the all the most important vital organs especially pancreas and spleen so what you have to do is you have to study the anatomy of them okay and then uh, the common surgical conditions common surgical conditions and what are the treatment options available what are the treatment options available for these vital organs if i am if you are talking about pancreas the questions will be more of acute pancreatitis acute pancreatitis what is the cause etiology the clinical features of acute pancreatitis what are the clinical features of acute pancreatitis and how we are going to manage the acute pancreatitis is very important and spleen if you have to talk about spleen separately splenic trauma trauma of the spleen what are the conditions that causes splenic trauma how spleen gets ruptured and indications for splenectomy is very very important question indications for splenectomy okay now trauma trauma is very important as emergency medicine is important in the assessment of trauma management isn't it emergency medicine is important so principle of trauma care principles of trauma care in case of trauma principles of trauma care is important and you should know about the assessment of trauma care assessment and the stabilization technique stabilization techniques these are important assessment are important in case of when you study trauma and in trauma the other very very important topic is ATLS advanced trauma life support ATLS is very very important and in advanced trauma life support as well as the assessment the primary and secondary assessment how will you do the assessment in trauma cases okay primary and secondary assessment in trauma is very important and then uh, the i am going to talk about carcinoma the most common carcinoma will be ca breast okay ca breast you should know about the diagnosis how we are going to do a diagnosis of the ca breast what are the techniques we use and then staging and in this tnm staging you should be thorough with the tnm staging of carcinoma breast and then treatment modalities what are the treatment modalities and the frequently asked one uh, topic in case of ca breast is what is the breast conserving surgery? What is the difference between the conserving surgery versus mastectomy? Okay, versus mastectomy. So, what do you, what are the differences in that? You have to discuss about. Community medicine is concerned, or social and preventive medicine, or preventive and social medicine, whatever uh, they are called. Uh, what we are concerned about is national health programs. Okay, so major nutritional health programs are important topics nutritional health programs okay nutritional health programs are topic important topics NTEP national tuberculosis elimination program and their impact on public health and their impact on public health impact on public health is very important okay so all this you have to study and under zoonotic infection you should study the epidemiology epidemiology of the zoonotic infection okay zoonotic infection means transmitted from other animals isn't it and preventive measures what we can do and control measures how to control the zoonotic infection in this rabies is very very important and rabies how the transmission of rabies occurs transmission and the post exposure prophylaxis and the program for rabies natural rabies control sorry rabies control program okay
Right. Next is screening. Okay, screening becomes an important tool for early detection, isn't it? Early detection, and uh, you you have to know about the uh, why it is crucial. Early detection becomes crucial, isn't it? In cases which are which are the cases where early detection becomes crucial, and what is the screening technique in public health? What are the various techniques, screening techniques we use in public health? Okay, that is that that sh you should study that very importantly and. You should know which is a good screening test because there will be various screening tests. So you should know which one is a good one. So good screening test, we have guidelines for that screening test, uh, uh, criteria for that, sorry, criteria for that. So that you should know. And among this, if you are uh, studying about the screening program, okay, among this, the most important screening will be for cervical cancer screening. Okay, in the platinum topic, cervical cancer screening is more important. So the guidelines for that, what is a pap smear, okay, what is the uh, preventive and screening gui guidelines for that cervical cancer, that you should know. Now, the communicable disease, we have various communicable disease in uh, community medicine, okay, SPM, but the important is respiratory infections, okay, so you should know the epidemiology, epidemiology, you should know the diagnosis, diagnosis, you should know the treatment, okay, what treatment we are giving for most of the respiratory infections and you know the most important respiratory infection in the community medicine is tuberculosis and you should know again the tuberculosis program, their epidemiology, okay, how will you, uh, what are the clinical features of, clinical features of tuberculosis are also asked repeatedly, preventive strategies, okay, for TB the preventive strategies such as the programs and the dots, okay, preventive strategy, all these are important in case of uh, respiratory infection. Next in pathology, the uh, important topics will be inflammation, hemolytic anemia and bleeding disorders. Now let me talk about inflammation. Under inflammation, because inflammation is the cornerstone of pathology, you should know about the mechanism of the inflammation, mechanism, different types of inflammation, you should know the types and then you should know the clinical significance. Okay, what is the clinical significance of particular inflammation? Now, you, you have the stages in various, uh, in acute, okay, in case of acute, you should know about the stages of the inflammation, what are the various stages that uh, diabetes is, chemotaxis, what are the stages there and what is the role of cytokine. So, this is one important topic that is repeatedly uh, asked, okay, cytokines in cellular response. In case of chronic inflammation, we are talking about chronic means, you should know about the uh, uh, mechanism, again mechanism, how it is happening and in that the granuloma formation becomes an important, uh, you have to focus more on that topic. Now hemolytic anemia, okay, if you are taking hemolytic anemia because RBC destruction is crucial, okay, you have to focus on that RBC destruction is crucial in case of pathology. So what are the causes for the hemolytic anemia? What is the diagnosis of hemolytic anemia and management, okay. Uh, uh, is more important to focus. Okay, in this hemolytic anemia, AAHA, that is autoimmune hemolytic anemia, okay, uh, is one of the important topics. So you can see that pathophysiology, okay, so pathophysiology of it, pathophysiology of AAHA and the Coombs test, the various tests you know about the Coombs test, direct and indirect Coombs test, okay, this needs more focus. Okay, coming to the bleeding disorders, you know the bleeding disorders, okay, because impaired bleeding is an important concern in case of clinical, okay, impaired blood clotting is or coagulation is important. So, you have to study about the cascade, okay, the entire external uh, and internal, in, sorry, intrinsic and extrinsic coagulation pathway, what are the factors in that, okay, all these things and when, when there is a deficiency of a particular factor what will happen and in bleeding disorders again the important concern will be of hemophilia okay hemophilia its genetic basis needs attention more attention and clinical management clinical management what you are going to do for hemophilia based on the genetic basis and everything so this is about pathology medicine is concerned it is important to know the abnormal heart rhythmic activity Okay, so you should know, you should have strong understanding because this is the area where we are weak and that they know well, isn't it? So 
we have to concentrate more on the ECG uh, findings, okay, and uh, arrhythmia, types of arrhythmia, okay, all these things you should study and their management. And among the arrhythmias, atrial fibrillation, okay, needs more focus. And atrial fibrillation, in that you have to study about the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, management. In management, you, you should discuss about what, what is the anticoagulant of choice, okay, what we, why, why we are giving an anticoagulant, what is the anticoagulant's use in uh, atrial fibrillation, what is the rate with rhythm control, what is the rate with rhythm control in atrial fibrillation. Now, next important question or next important big heading uh, from I think uh, 2019 or 18, they started asking more questions on neurology. So if you are very good in neurology, you are going to get okay good marks in an EPG. So the neurology in medicine especially. So what is the topic that is mostly asked? Many topics are asked, but stroke, okay, stroke prevention and its strategies, okay, preventive strategies, sorry, preventive strategies and management management of stroke becomes a very uh, important topic to focus okay it's very important and uh, if it is stroke they are also concerned with the risk factors that can cause stroke and the diagnosis how will you diagnose a stroke and the treatment options multiple treatment options available okay so the presentation for example in case of ischemic stroke okay this among stroke you ischemic stroke is uh, more commonly asked and the ischemic stroke, you have to discuss about the presentation, how the clinical presentations are there, what are the different types of uh, ischemic stroke, what are the different types are there, all these things. And the treatment wise, what I am talking about is thrombolytic therapy, okay, where to give, okay, in which stroke you have to give, all those things we have to discuss in uh, CNS. Okay, CNS is a big topic, but I am talking about only platinum topics now, right? And uh, the therapy and you have to have a very good knowledge on radiology okay radiology maybe they are asking less question but what most commonly they are asking is GI in GI what you have to study is imaging technique what are the various imaging techniques in gastrointestinal okay and their applications what is the applications of uh, gastrointestinal X uh, okay CT scan and everything what are the different imaging techniques and what is the indication indication and finding in CT scan okay in CT scan for appendicitis so this is the most common appendicitis is going to be the most common right after you finish your MBBS uh, you, uh, sorry already you have finished your MBBS so during your MBBS period and even uh, if you have gone to any hospital you would have seen that appendicitis is the most common surgical condition that you would have seen so the diagnosis based on CT scan and the findings, what you what why, why when you will do a CT scan and what is the finding is important. Okay, in case of GI image. Now, next one will be fundamentals of radiology. So what you are what they are talking about fundamental is the principle of various uh, imaging modalities, the equipment that is used, okay, and safety measures. So safety measures again is very okay, keenly uh, should be should be observed very keenly safety measures and in that case radiation safety what are the various radiation safety we are using okay and what is the principle of x-ray or ct scan and everything is asked now what is the common radiographic interpretation okay common radiographic interpretations you should know what is the common uh, interpretation of various uh, radiographic techniques what are the interpretations you should know in case of uh, the system wise one I told GA, the next one will be respiratory system. Respiratory system is very important and the technique and the interpretation of chest x-ray, interpretation of chest x-ray and CT scan in case of two important disorders in RS, okay, respiratory system that will be pneumonia and pneumothorax, pneumonia and pneumothorax. So focus on this pneumonia and pneumothorax. Now, CNS, next will be uh, in this, I will add CNS too. So, CNS also needs more observation nowadays. Okay, the investigation technique for, for example, uh, what is the technique for brain and what is the technique for spinal cord, imaging technique, 
okay that you should be aware of and then mri findings in case of multiple sclerosis so multiple sclerosis is an important uh, uh, medical uh, topic okay and uh, what is the finding in mri is another important thing you should discuss in radiology pediatrics what we are going to study in pediatrics so when pediatrics questions are asked they are most commonly asked about the newborn infant the challenges in the physiology and the challenges that are faced okay in a newborn infant so focus on the assessment of a neonat okay neonatal assessment neonatal assessment is important such as the as most important assessment that is the apgar score okay study completely uh, about the apgar score okay that is very critical and uh, major neonatal clinical uh, uh, sorry major neonatal diseases what are the major neonatal diseases how how they are managed okay you, you should know about the treatment and more than that the cause okay and treatment in this neonatal jaundice okay types of neonatal jaundice what is a physiological and as well as what is a pathological uh, jaundice okay and uh, what are the causes for this what is the clinical features of uh, jaundice uh, okay what do you observe management and you should in in case of jaundice the treatment wise what we have is phototherapy so you should uh, uh, be more concentrated on this phototherapy talk okay now what is there in og obstructive and gynecology antenatal care is very important contraceptive methods are important and conduct of pre so antenatal care and prenatal care what are the uh, prenatal so prenatal care basic guidelines of prenatal care okay and assessment and intervention you should uh, you should study about the assessment and intervention you should focus on that so in uh, guidelines prenatal care guidelines and intervention what is the use of folic acid supplementation on how this folic acid supplementation prevents the neural tube defect okay ntd means neural tube defect so that is an important topic and uh, next one will be contraceptive methods what are the family planning knowledge is critical family planning knowledge is critical it is very important various contraceptive methods okay various contraceptive methods we use and uh, contraceptive methods when these contraceptive methods are uh, indicated indications is critical indications and their mechanism and their mechanism how the mechanism happens is also uh, a very very focused you should focus on that also now what is conduct of labor how the labor is conducted what are the different uh, stages of labor okay stages of labor uh, you should be more focused on that stages of labor and the uh, maintenance how will you maintain the labor how it is maintained and complications what are the complications you expect okay various complications of labor that is important the basic thing you should understand is the management of normal labor how will you manage a normal labor okay study uh, more on this and indications for c section indications for c section when we will do a cesarean okay so be more aware of this and uh, contraceptive methods i missed one important one that is iud's iud's are asked and the efficacy how much uh, it is uh, efficient okay efficacy of the, the iud's and side effects of iud's and mechanism is also uh, repeatedly ask that's it these are the practical topics by mastering these uh, important topics uh, you will be excel good in your neat pg examination okay and uh, focus on your studies on these high yield areas why i am giving these topics is uh, that will give you more preparation time okay instead of going uh, with the all the topics okay so this will give more preparation time good link and uh, and uh, good luck the davids academy will be there for you in every step of your success okay thank you for joining us today so we hope this guide helped you in some way that will be very uh, what to say i'll be very happy on that if it help you, helped you in some way stay focused stay dedicated and you don't have to follow success success will follow you happy study okay and then one last uh, thing i have to say is among all the students i have enquired the most important success key is consistency
okay so review this topic and uh, see the previous year questions okay and be top of your team you all the best for your exam okay thank you thank you guys